Welcome to day 13 of the Adventures in Black and White Vlogmas. Yay! So we are now over halfway through Vlogmas and I am just really enjoying it. I hope you're finding it really interesting. I hope that you've been over to the website and my socials and obviously had a look through all of my uh, YouTube back catalogue because um, I think it's quite interesting. So right then, today's going to be an interesting one. Let's go see what it's about. And today is about everyday heroes. So we all look up to, you know, the stars of the world, like, you know, Carl Hester and people like that, depending on which bit of the sport that you follow. But it's really important to have people that you can speak to, that you look up to. And um, for this video, I've actually chosen three people that I do speak to on a regular basis and two people who have um, accounts on here and on Instagram that I do really look up to. I have met one of them before. So um, yeah, it, it just people that I really, really respect and admire. So first up is Sarah. She's my trainer. Um, I've known her for about 10 or 11 years now um she's like yoda um herself she's risen to a very high level eventing i wouldn't want to say off the top of my head um but then she had an accident and um she now just solely concentrates on dressage and she's trained her into one into two level um and over the years she's just been like my rock um She's made me cry, she's made me laugh, she's picked me up when things have been like really bad, she's shared my successes and um, as someone that is there to help, like you, everyone needs Sarah in their lives, like she, she doesn't um, blow smoke up my bum by any means of it, so you know she said something's good, it is really really good um, and this is really important, so I do obviously train with other people when I can but Sarah is my go-to trainer because she's literally just down the road and also she's the only one that will come to my yard um which when you don't have transport is really quite important so but she complements all the other people that I would go to um although these days I tend to only go to her and Kim Ratcliffe um but they train very much the same so it's really good to have her and also I go off and I help her um, at competitions sometimes because already it's just really good just to have her in my life so that I can like she's pushing me forwards to be always better and that's really important in the trainer and then there's Kate Kate's known me for oh gosh 20 years when I was at university I actually um, kept my horse at livery um, as the same place as where her horse was and we used to help each other out because she worked absolutely insane hours so um, it was like a, a really really nice sort of relationship that we got going and then I did also at one point live with her for a bit um, but over the years um, it's been amazing how she's gone from being you know your nine to five uh, rider to now she actually owns and runs her own yard <coughs> which she's set up all by herself she bought a wreck of a place and has over the years slowly converted it into a top class training establishment. Um, she has her own website and uh, which I will put down below and um, she as well has gone all the way from we used to kick about doing prelim and novice and now she's riding at PSG training for into one into two and she hasn't always had like you know the warm bloods um, her, she has a collection of horses that are um, all sorts from thoroughbreds to obviously warm bloods and then Monty her cart horse who isn't really a cart horse he's lovely um, and has done incredibly well and she she's just someone that I, I look to for advice we both phone each other up actually for advice so it's not like it's all one way um, but it's really nice to have her and of course she doesn't live locally either because she she lives in Somerset and I obviously live in Suffolk but I go over quite regularly, well, whenever I can, um, to go and, and see her place. And yeah, she's a great friend and someone that I really respect. My third everyday hero is Rachel Corley from uh, City Centre Eventers. I will put a link for her YouTube channel just up here. 
Um, Rachel I met when I was on livery um, just outside Newmarket. Uh, she came from racing, she'd worked at Gamble Health Trust and she events. And she is another one that is like the voice of reason. You know, if I'm having any doubts about anything, particularly veterinary wise, I might give her like a message and see what, what she thinks. And um, I absolutely love the way she works her horses. So she's, she's very down to earth. Um, but she's not afraid to try something new and she has done incredibly well. And um, I was super proud of her when she took her X racer and she finally got to wear her tails because she was doing her first two star um, eventing, which is a massive achievement for a horse that, you know, it wasn't his first job and he's also had his own set of injuries. So they're my three that I go to on, I'll probably speak to them a couple of times a month. Obviously Sarah I speak to him more often because she is training me, but they're my three everyday heroes. And there's two of the people that I think deserve a special mention for being everyday heroes. First up is Carla from Muddy Mayhem. Um, I've been following her for quite some time. Um, she also started off Buck Off Banter, which is like the most amazing podcast ever. Um, she doesn't do that anymore because she has actually a really, really hardcore job in the NHS and top respect for her. She does everything herself. She doesn't sugarcoat it. You know, she's not there going, oh, look at me with my matchy matchy. She she just gets things done and she's very, very honest and always shares her ups and her downs. And this has been quite a down for her. And I think it's been the same for a lot of us. And it's been really refreshing to see like the honest side of things, but without it being all doom and gloom, like she's obviously trying to get things better. Um, but she has her own YouTube channel, which I will tag here and um, she is well worth a follow and a support because she is absolutely hilarious. And finally, my last nomination for um, Everyday Heroes is Miri Hackett. Um, I first started following Miri a couple of years ago. Um, I like the way she trains her horses. She does a, a variety of things, not just dress up, she jumps as well. And she has a very, very kind ethos with Know, bringing up the the young horses um, she also does a lot of the TRT groundwork which I really like and I've started doing myself with Stormy um, and Miri is such a lovely person um, and we have chatted um, on Instagram a couple of times because we've been going through similar sort of things and I think why well, she's a hero to me is she actually does take the time to like message back and um, I feel like like some of the times like, I have been able to help her like with experiences I've had, you know, but she's always, always come back to us and um, she's going through a really tough time at the moment. So I think, you know, if this gives her a little high five, you're doing great and she sees this, um, it'd be amazing. She has her own YouTube channel as well, which is here. And uh, yeah, so they're my five heroes. Um, I think it's quite important that you have people that you look up to. Um, they say the way to gain success is to surround yourself by successful people and people that are cheering you on and not putting you down. And these guys in their own little way are all people that I think bring a very positive um, light to my um, riding career. Anyway, that was a different one today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow.